It's Quick Tip Tuesday, and if you work with multiple timelines in your projects, there may be a time where you might want to make it read-only or disable that timeline just so you don't mess it up. Let me show you how to do it. In DaVinci Resolve here, I've got a timeline that I want to make sure I don't change at all. So I'm going to disable it. In order to do that, open up your media pool right here, and you could go navigate through your bins and find the timeline you want, or a little quick tip here is if you have your smart bins open, if you don't see your smart bins, three little dots up here, make sure your smart bins is turned on. You should automatically have a timelines folder right here, or timelines bin. You can come to whatever timeline you want. I'm gonna select the day two combo here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna come down to disable timeline right here. And once I click on that, you'll notice it goes red in my timeline, but then I don't see it here anymore with my timelines. So that has been disabled or made read only. So that way you can't go in and make changes to it. Now, if I find that timeline in its original bin, which I know is in day two here, you'll see day two combo and you'll see it's got a little eyeball on there, just meaning that it's disabled, right? So if I tried to open it or double click it, I can't, right? I have no option to uh, open up this timeline because now it's read only. But I can still view it down here, although I won't be able to make any cuts or anything like that. If you wanted to re-enable that so that you can go in and edit it or edit it down in my second timeline down here, all you have to do is right click and say enable timeline. Boom, you're good to go. Everything is back up and running. And now I can jump into day two combo and I can get in there and make whatever kind of changes I might wanna make. So if you work with multiple timelines in DaVinci Resolve, you may wanna disable it or make it read only. So that way you don't change anything or uh, you know maybe just keep an extra copy and then you disable it in case you ever need to go back to timelines. Although we do have timeline backups, so you should have those turned on. But anyway, that is this quick tip Tuesday for you guys. Hope you found it helpful and if you did, thumbs up, a little subscribe to the channel. Maybe share out the video. I will see you in the next one.